So hey everyone, we've got some great news. Uh, we at Spawning are happy to announce that Stability AI have stepped up to honour artist opt-out requests uh, collected at HaveIBeenTrained.com in advance of the training of Stable Diffusion version 3. Uh, we're really, really excited about this, wanted to let everyone know. Um, to introduce ourselves, uh, Spawning is an organization that was created this year, uh, started by artists and developers who believe in consenting AI systems. We're looking to build tools for artists to take ownership of their training data in an AI art ecosystem. Uh, our first tool, HaveIBeenTrained.com, allows you to search the Lion 5B dataset that's used to train many of these AI image systems. Um, and we've since added the ability to create accounts. Um, so on those accounts, you can tag your work if you find it in there. Um, and if you don't want it to be in there, you can uh, remove it now. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm making this video is that we only really have a couple of weeks, I believe, until the next training starts. So uh, now's the time. If you do not want your work to be in there, uh, now's the time to register that objection. So in order to do that, it's really quite simple. Go to haveibeentrained.com, make an account, um, try and locate your work in the dataset, either using the text search or an image search, right click on those images to opt them out um, and create lists of works that you don't want to be in there. Um, it's really as easy as that. Uh, yeah, I think that um, this has the potential to set a pretty remarkable precedent in the space. Um, we at Spawning believe artist consent is fundamental. Uh, it's a prerequisite for this space to grow in a way that everyone feels good about. Um, so it feels really good to be able to say that we've done something. <laughs> it feels really good. To, and, and this is really just kind of the, the, the first step. We already have uh, thousands of artists uh, signed up um, and we're looking to grow that number. Uh, next year, we will be um, launching tools to opt in. We've had to actually had a lot of uh, opt in requests of artists who want to be in the models too. Um, and wh however you feel about this, you know, whatever your personal choice is about your artwork, um, we can all kind of agree that consent is is important, right? So so whether you want to be in there or out there, uh, we need the tools in place to, to honor those wishes. Uh, yeah, so consent is what we want to get to. Uh, we do not want any artists present in these models who don't want to be there. So hugely spiriting that Emad and the stability team have agreed to this. Uh, so yeah, and, and as a call to action, uh, please let your artist friends know. Um, we have a few weeks to test this out. I personally think it's a huge opportunity. Um, and I'd love to see people come through. Uh, I've seen some confusion online as to, you know, questions about what Spawning is doing with anything that you do on HaveIBeenTrained.com. Um, I can say outright, we do not use any data to train anything. We don't keep your data. Um, we, we don't use your data for anything other than figuring out what you want that work to do in a large AI model context. And, you know, and then it's our job to go and try and speak to these organizations and get them to honor your wishes. That's what we do. That's why we're here. That's our intention. So maybe it's important to establish three points about spawning. So number one, spawning doesn't and will never train models with non-consenting data. Number two, spawning wants opt-in only to be the consent default for AI applications, commercial AI applications moving forward. Um, that's going to be a real slog. That's going to take a lot to get there, but that's kind of our personal belief. And number three, um, opt-out lists, although imperfect, um, are a step in the right direction and have been a hard-fought concession. Um, you know, opt-out, as I said, it's not perfect, but we think that opt-out requests being honored by organizations like Stability um, is an important opportunity to establish terms for a, a you know a, a future protocol of consent um and and it's really that protocol of consent that we're dedicating our time to yeah so if you have any questions uh you can find us on twitter at spawning underscore or you can find me personally on twitter at matt dryhurst that's m-a-t-d-r-y-h-u-r-s-t yeah, so I'm hoping to make these videos a little bit more frequent as questions come up. Um, we have a longer video in the works explaining our position about the AI uh, space more broadly at the moment. Um, there's a lot of 
I think kind of myths out there. There's a lot of miscommunications and misdirections and misinformation. Uh, and, you know, we've been in and around this field for quite some time now. I feel pretty confident about our position on on the good and the bad <laughs> of, of where things are at and, and what can be done. Um, and so it could be useful for us to share that with everybody. Um, yeah, but, you know, as I said, this I think is great news. Um, I'm really excited to see where this leads. You know, respect to uh, stability and Lion uh, for for making this possible, this experiment possible. You know, we we heavily depend on Lion tools to be able to show you what's in these data sets, and I think that they deserve credit for that. Um, yeah, and you know, once we establish this precedent, I think more will come on board. I don't see any reason why more wouldn't come on board. I don't personally think that it will hurt many of these other models uh, for whom we don't know really, we, we don't have access to the training uh, data um, to, to honor artist wishes. In fact, over time, I think, I think it will help them. I think, and I think everyone will, will want to do this, uh, but we're, we're, we're taking it slow. We're going to get there. So yeah. So, uh, so let people know. Um, and, you know, thanks again for your support and I'll see you. See you online.